Look, it's called a courtesy flush, and I do it because I'm not an animal. Oh, sh I'm recording. <laughs> a few ways you can make 2D animations in Minimator. So the first method is to flatten the f out of everything. Import scenery, characters, rigs, whatever you want, and go to scale. Click the drop down, then scale the appropriate axis. As you can see, depending on how exaggerated you make the effect, this will literally make your scene 2D. Of course, this will cause some issues if, for instance, you rotate the character. In this case, just rescale the object accordingly. If the transition between the poses looks wonky, try using an instant keyframe transition. The second method is to use that field of view, baby. With this method, you're using the telephoto effect of the lens to flatten out the image. It has something to do with parallax or some other scientific nonsense that I'm not confident enough to try and explain here. But if you look at the difference in the image, you'll see that the smaller the field of view value is, the flatter the scene appears. Of course, being this zoomed in can make the camera very sensitive and difficult to control, but for a 2D animation, this shouldn't be too much of a problem. You can use either of these two methods or combine them to create a 2D look for your animation. The third and final method is to make a sprite sheet if I weren't so lazy and actually had any artistic talent. So with this method, you're basically making a custom item sheet, like the default one included in Minimator for tools and items. You can use a graphics editing program and draw out all of your shapes and poses like an actual 2D animation. Then import that item sheet into Minimator and keyframe the item. If you don't know how to make an item sheet, I covered it in a tutorial back in 2016, dear god, I am old, called How to Build a Rig with Custom Item Sheets. Click the card up there to watch it. Thanks for watching this Minimator tutorial. Uh, I don't know if I'll be making any more, but uh, make sure you click like if you thought it was helpful and comment any other suggestions you have for tutorials and maybe, maybe, I'll give it a shot.